drop a like and subscribe in the next 10 seconds if you guys want to redeem this free Season 10 Battle Pass, 2000 V-Bucks and exclusive World Cup spray on your personal Fortnite account. I'm also now gifting subscribers every single day new cosmetics and skins from the daily item shop rotation, so if you happen to be a subscriber simply comment down below your Epic Game ID for a chance to receive a gift personally off my Fortnite account. We're also super close right now to 500,000 subscribers, literally if all of you watching the video right now subscribed, we'd be there before Season 10, so let's hit that milestone. Also a quick thank you and shout out to everybody using code Friendly Machine in the item shop for all your in-game purchases, this allows me to give bigger and better things to more people every day, and obviously if you guys are rocking it, let me know in the comment section down below, as you may be able to receive some V-Bucks if you let me know your epic username. Yo what's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new Fortnite Battle Royale video here on my channel. So in today's video, I know a lot of you will be thinking, there's no possible way in game right now to actually redeem any way, shape or form anyways, available to everyone, the free Season 10 Battle Pass, the upcoming Battle Pass for the next season releasing on August 1st. Obviously Season 10 is going to be revamped full of new, innovative cosmetics that we've never seen before, maybe even a new tier threshold for the max tier and everybody will obviously want to obtain the Battle Pass for completely free if there is a means to be and in today's video we're going to be going over multiple methods but one in particular that literally everybody right now can use to get a free season 10 battle pass redeemed onto their account with an exclusive spray and 2,000 free v bucks to kickstart your journey off in season 10. As of recently many of you may have been aware that the overtime challenges for season 9 have been implemented yet we haven't seen again in the overtime challenges set like with season 8's overtime challenges a free way to obtain the next seasonal battle pass for this case season 10. Obviously many people thought considering there was a free and paid season 10 battle pass in the code that we'd be seeing upon these overtime challenges going live implemented to the game despite just being leaked from the game's files a secret challenge revealed obviously allowing us for completion of certain amount of challenges within this overtime challenges set a free season 10 battle pass but this was not the case and it turns out that the free season 10 battle pass the coding in the files anyways was for people who receives one of these world cup cards obviously if you guys have been living under a rock and don't pay attention to the world cup well fortnite actually published an article a very long time ago, even before Season 9 was released, stating that people who attend the real life event venue anyways from July 26th to 28th 2019 at the World Cup Final would receive a card that allows us to redeem a free Season 10 Battle Pass and free V-Bucks but never stated the amount of V-Bucks and obviously from the screenshot you saw at the start of the video never mentioned either that there would be a World Cup exclusive spray. They also failed to mention the fact that we would be able to receive this in card form with a code on to redeem on the Epic Games website which is obviously the case for most redeemable items whether exclusive, whether attached to some sort of promotion in Fortnite Battle Royale. Considering the World Cup Finals are occurring throughout now until July 28th because today is the 26th, many players have been posting across social media the cards of which contain codes to then redeem these 2000 V-Bucks which we now know the value of because of the fact people are redeeming these codes, the Season 10 Battle Pass and this World Cup exclusive spray. So this means that many people are going to be going here and obviously, you know, picking up these cards anyways and there's going to be tons printed out so many people may just act like they haven't got one and maybe giving them away across social media. This means that people don't have to actually attend this real life event to then get a card because a lot of people will be giving them away or basically sharing them out across social media. Obviously now throughout the days progressing until the end of the World Cup Final, there will be more cards given away each individual day to players who attend or are present during this World Cup Final venue event, so then there will be more surfacing across social media, especially platforms like Twitter and Instagram or stuff like that where people predominantly give away things to do with Fortnite. Considering Epic stated on their website as we've briefly referred to in this video that players who attend the real life venue of the World Cup Final will be able to receive this free Season 10 Battle Pass and free V-Bucks made me to believe that obviously people would need to log in at this event because of the fact it states people need to attend it but no, they're giving away cards which ultimately doesn't determine 100% that you need to be present during the event you don't even need to be in the same country of which it's occurring in they could simply just be posted to you the codes of these cards and then you could redeem it on epic games official website 
We know this is definitely something common with Epic Games giving away these cards with exclusive things obviously attached to a certain event, just like the Llama Sprays, for example the EEE Spray, which was one of the first to ever surface in the world of Fortnite for one of the rare items or cosmetics in card form that had a code attached that could be redeemed for attending said event. The only frustrating thing about this particular method, despite the other ones I'm going to mention in a short while, so make sure you stick it around and watch until the end, is the fact that obviously we only have limited days now until season 10 starts and obviously a limited time for the duration of this event meaning there's going to be limited cards with limited codes on to redeem this free season 10 battle pass or the bundle should I say considering it gives you 2000 V-Bucks extra. We do not know as of now if you'll be able to redeem this when season 10 starts but I'm guessing this will be the case considering these codes won't go inactive as most card codes never go inactive considering people now on the internet are still Still selling as previously referred to the EEE spray which is the oldest of card codes rewarding us with particular exclusive items and they still work from redeeming them or entering them and then obviously that redeeming it on your account on the official Epic Games website. Either way that's the first original method and if you guys want me to perhaps get my hands on some of these and give them away to you then make sure you leave a like on the video down below and that way the more likes I get I know more of you obviously want to potentially receive a free season 10 battle pass from one of these card codes obviously rewarding you also with an exclusive World Cup spray and free 2000 V-Bucks. Anyways, that's enough talk about the World Cup, we're going to be moving on to the next method now which ultimately affected like 20% of Fortnite's player base, which then recompensated them with the adequate amount of V-Bucks if saved until Season 10 will allow them to purchase the Season 10 Battle Pass for completely free. As many of you may or may not know, the Fortnite mobile players had an issue when the 9.4 update patch basically was implemented to the game. It didn't either agree with the coding or some of the Apple devices or the phone devices devices or generally like tablets and stuff what obviously Fortnite Mobile is considered Fortnite Mobile on and because of this players weren't able to play for a few days literally after the 9.4 patch went live in Fortnite Battle Royale but obviously just on these devices like tablets and mobiles. Because of this Epic Games recompensated players with free 15 battle stars obviously if they weren't already tier 100 and additional 1000 V-Bucks as a gift to help make up for that error. Many of you console players and PC players may be thinking how does this affect me and obviously how do I get these 1000 V-Bucks for completely free? Considering most people in our day and age have a mobile that supports Fortnite on it, I suggest logging in considering I've actually been rewarded from doing this even though I'm a console player predominantly, these free 1000 V-Bucks and obviously it's happened to a lot of other players and because of this I'd say it's a 50-50 chance that you either do get rewarded the V-Bucks for this problem occurring on Fortnite mobile if you have it installed prior to the 9.4 patch so why not try this because honestly it literally takes two seconds no effort at all literally just loading up Fortnite to see if you're eligible to redeem these V-Bucks that Fortnite are granting you. If you guys are now puzzled because of the fact this has nothing to do with their battle pass not mentioned anywhere about them recompensating us with anything to do with season 10 well as many of you obviously do know already the battle pass the standard one costs 950 V-Bucks which usually entails us buying the 7.99 British Pounds bundle of V-Bucks for 1000 or if you're in America that costs $10. Because of this, with them granting us a free 1000 V-Bucks bundle for this problem on Fortnite Mobile if you're able to redeem these for completely free if you're not even predominantly a Fortnite Mobile player literally just following the things I just mentioned if you already had it installed prior to the 9.4 patch and if you save these V-Bucks, you can then spend them because they're free on the Season 10 Battle Pass, thus making the Season 10 Battle Pass completely free to you. This method honestly could not have happened at a better time considering if it happened prior or earlier during the season, many people wouldn't have considered saving the V-Bucks for the next Battle Pass, but considering we're literally a matter of days now, five in particular until August 1st when Season 10 releases, Many of you guys rewarded with these V-Bucks will be able to not be tempted from the item shop cosmetics that are newly rotated to then purchase the Season 10 Battle Pass with these V-Bucks. Last but not least, the final method I'm going to mention in this video has large ties to save the world. Obviously this is rumoured to be coming free to play during Season 10 or with the launch of this season upon this update being applied to Fortnite considering it's the 10th seasonal anniversary of Fortnite and for this celebration in particular.
particular, and also considering the fact that Epic Games have promised for a very long time that Save the World would be coming as a free-to-play aspect of Fortnite, just like Battle Royale, what better time to grant players this for this 10th seasonal anniversary itself of Fortnite? It would completely make sense not only because of this 10th seasonal anniversary, but they've promised for a very long time that it would be releasing literally like a year ago from now, and we still haven't heard any updates since October 22nd when they literally just announced the delay of free-to-play Save the World out of 2018. If you guys are also wondering how does this involve anything to do with getting the Season 10 Battle Pass for completely free, well if you didn't know, you can earn free V-Bucks from multiple methods in Save the World, whether it's from logging in, doing some challenges and stuff, and obviously the more of Save the World you play, the more you get out of it in terms of V-Bucks, which are free considering if you get Save the World for free and you earn them, you're not spending a dime or a penny. From all multiple methods gathered together to ultimately grant you V-Bucks being a case on a daily basis, it would it wouldn't take you long to save up literally just 950 V-Bucks to then buy with these V-Bucks the Season 10 Battle Pass which literally stemmed from a source of no money. Either way that wraps up today's video for three particular methods of which you can obtain a free Season 10 Battle Pass on your personal Fortnite account. If you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful or want to keep referring back to particular pieces of information scattered throughout this video, then make sure you're leaving a like on it as this not only supports the video and lets me know you enjoyed it or found it informative, but the liked playlist lets you refer back to the video in a very easy to access spot. Also make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below if you haven't already and turn on those post notifications to be updated as soon as I upload a brand new video regarding new pieces of news or information or leaks surfacing around the new season upcoming on August 1st, Season 10. Hopefully I can see you guys from remaining active in the comment section of my future videos to come, and I'm out. Have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are whenever you're watching. Have a good one, take it easy, and as always, peace.